Akshay Kumar, such a pleasure to be here with you in London. How are you? I'm good. Enjoying my vacation here. Tell me why you wanted to be a part of Mission Mangal. Well, this is a real story and it's about these uh, female scientists, how um, they did something which is impossible. And uh, the best part about this is I found, which I've never found in any other movie, how they used home science in science. And it, it actually happened. You know, how they cooked, they used to cook puris and they used to save fuel. You will see that is how they save fuel while taking the rocket. But it may sound a little bit uh, childish, but it is actually not. This is what so many uh, home science techniques were used in science and they did this and they have done it and shown to the world that they did this in just sending a satellite to, to Mars in just 73 million dollars. When we met last year just before the release of Gold, you told me you didn't actually know about this story of India's first Olympic win as an independent country against Great Britain here in the UK. You've become the poster boy of untold true stories. Is that a label you're comfortable with? Yes, I, I'm comfortable with any label. I mean, I've been used to about having labels throughout my career. When I was, when I joined this industry, I was very, people used to just call me a guy who does only action, action, action. Then it carried on. And then I did a lot of comedy film. Then they start saying he's a, he's a good com uh, comic timing he has. He's a great comedian. So it's okay, it doesn't matter, they keep on changing. Mission Mangal focuses partly on the efforts of the women at the Indian Space Research Organization at the time. How important is that an aspect of this film? It's very important, the whole thing is, if you see there's a scene also, uh, I'm just standing behind them. See, I, I, the whole focus is basically the women. I, uh, I'll tell you, uh, in India I have uh, studied uh, there and from the beginning of my uh, life, I have heard people talking about uh, professions where women can't do, uh, like uh, being an engineer. You know, they always come up with, if it's an engineer job, nahi beta. Engineer means a man's job, a woman cannot do. Scientist means a man's job. So I just wanted to do this film and make, bring it ahead to people that women can do a lot much better than what men can do. Do you think this film will encourage children and teenagers, particularly girls, to take up subjects like science and technology? Yes, it will. It will. And my, I, I'm very grateful to God that I mean, this, the timing for this film in my country is great because just now we launched a rocket to Chandrayaan about four or five days back and this film is happening. ISRO has done something great again. So the timing is, and I, uh, I swear to God, I didn't have to, uh, I didn't... Um, it wasn't planned. It, is, it wasn't planned at all. It just happened and, uh, and it's perfectly fantastic that how it is going to happen. Why do you think there is less women than men in India taking up those subjects? I don't know. I think it is just because it is... I even uh, I remember studying in school and uh, even the, all, the, all the books we used to study, it used to always have this guy did this in history books also. This guy did, he went and conquered. It was never about any women. Or we never knew about any women doing something big. It was always about men, 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 even in our, uh, our textbooks. It was always men, if you see the uh, books also. So I, 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 I just hope that things change and they show women doing so many other things also. So the whole idea behind this, or whole idea behind make, making Padman also, or Toilet Ek Prem Katha, Toilet a Love Story. So this was all behind, all, all, this is there. Sure. And I have come to this, um, uh, and there are some more reasons also why I feel women are more stronger than men. So there is a scientific reason, if you want, I can tell please, you. Please, please, should, please, should please. Go ahead. Yes. So there was this uh, incident which happened when I was in, uh, uh, I was with my friend in Toronto. So I, I was listening, I was seeing the, the television and there was this uh, emergency plane landing on Lake Ontario. So it was like um, anything could happen. Yeah. And the, all the passengers could die or not could if the, if the pilot is not good enough. So, but the pilot was very good. He landed on the belly, uh, on, uh, on the Lake of Ontario. When they opened the gate, they found the whole plane was smelling of urine. And when they checked, 96 to 97% of 
your uh, uh, men had your uh, had urinated. Like, uh, yeah, urinated in their pants and only 3% women so this proves it scientifically also that when it comes when it comes to danger Men, uh, women are more stronger than men. Sure. Of course, there are five very well-known actresses who star alongside you in this film. But do you think a film like this still needs a big male superstar to sell at the box office? Oh uh, well, it's not uh, that. It's basically uh, see, I'm producing this film. I made this film. I I I believed in it, and I have a role also, and I have an equal role what Vidya Balan and Tapsi has. That's an equal role. Um, these kind of posters, I know people have this problem with my face being a little bit bigger uh, than, and people having problem with it. But these posters are made by uh, the studios yeah. because they want to sell the film down in, um, in villages and in districts. And this is, this is their planning, the way they do it. So you never want to interfere. You want more and more people to watch it. It is not about uh, they are not equal or I'm not equal. It's, it's nothing about it. I, to be honest, I'm say if you see this picture, the last, this is the last uh, photograph. This is the last scene of the film where we, they are walking ahead and I'm just behind them because this is what exactly happened. This is how the photograph was clicked. Sure. The, the we, film, I saw that photo, and, the viral photo. And to, to be honest, I'm say if this film runs, it's all because of the women not because of me. Mangalyaan, the space mission that this film is based on, was one of the first real events that brought India global praise when Prime Minister Narendra Modi came into power. Toilet Ek Prem Kata, another one of your films, also promotes one of his campaigns. What do you say to critics who accuse you of pushing a government agenda through your movies? No, I am not uh, to push cleanliness. If somebody has to say something that I'm doing anything wrong, then I don't care. If I make this, which is uh, which my government has done this 2014, and they have done a huge thing by promoting this, and uh, I'm very proud to say that uh, uh, this year's budget, I was just reading it. Uh, this government has gone that space and technology they have taken 18 percent, which was just only three percent earlier. The budget has gone more higher. It is good. It is great. I don't mind saying that, okay, if that, if that is what the critics think that I'm promoting, I don't mind the being said that I'm promoting it. I, I'm, I'm okay with it. Are you interested in joining politics? No, not at all. It seems like an obvious transition for you. If I was, I would tell you about it. And there's no transition. I, I'm very happy making films like this, which talks about reality and realism. And that's it. For three decades, the UK was seen as a key market for Bollywood films, but there has been a decline in producers choosing to promote their movies over here. Why do you think that is? I don't know, said, if you, if I realize also one more thing, uh, there's been a dip also in people coming and watching in UK. I don't know why. I don't know how it has happened. And uh, there's a big rise in a uh, Gulf market. In the UAE. In the UAE. The, so, so now the actors and actresses and the producers and the studios, they take them to Dubai. Yeah. Rather than coming here. Why? Do you, I mean, like you said, you don't know why that is, but do you think that streaming services like Netflix or Amazon and the availability of watching films at home could be a reason? Maybe because of the tickets, how expensive they are. Maybe because of that. And here you're paying in pounds, there is dirhams. So like you said, you've noticed this change, yes, this, 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 this change is. in the market. Because I've been in this industry 30 years and I've been watching everything. And Australia has become a big market. Uh, uh, UAE become a big market. Uh, Canada is a good big market. America is good. But there's a little bit decline in UK. Do you think that Bollywood films will start going straight to on-demand services like Netflix and Amazon instead of having international distribution? It is going to happen. And I, 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 I give you one year where it's just directly going to go to Amazon or Netflix. You're actually going to be starring in an Amazon Prime original series called The End. What appealed to you about working on the digital platform? Because I, I think that's going to be the future also. There's going to be Obviously, theatres are also going to be the future. There are going to be a lot of changes which is happening. And I've seen this, I've gone through this process of changes, what, been, what has been happening. And uh, a lot of time I, I talk to my son, I follow him, what he has to say, because they are the young blood, they are the young mind. And that, that's where, where their mind is going to. 
they, they go to these original series and they want to watch all these things. So I, it was, uh, it was the, I, I thought to myself that the time has come, I should take a plunge in this and that's what I did. I was recently reading an interview of yours where you said the only motto you have for choosing a script is that you should like it. But when you have so many relationships and friendships in the industry, Akshay, is it hard to say no to people? Uh, is it hard to say no? No, it is not uh, hard to say no. Um, for example, there are some actors who say, I did this scene for a friend who needed a favour. Would you still do things like that? Yeah, I have done it also. Yeah. I have done many films in, in friendship, but now I've been a little bit careful. This I've gone to, through this process earlier in my career where I have just done it even without listening to a script. I have just gone into a film just without listening to a script also. Really? Yes, I have been it. I have gone through that because uh, I have enjoyed myself working with a producer, certain director. And, and we are friends and things have gone, but I have realized that was wrong. In the past 12 months, you've played an Olympic hockey coach, you've played a supernatural bird man, you've played a 19th century Sikh soldier, and now the head of a space mission. Would it be fair to say this is the most liberating phase of your career? Yes, it is. It has gone. Um, I've never uh, been so happy in my career, that, uh, as much as happy I am. I'm getting so many characters to play. I've never been uh, so happy in my career. Clearly you've been working very hard because you've appeared on Forbes' list of the highest paid celebrities again. Last time you told me your only extravagance was eating in good restaurants. But actually, $65 million, around but that, that also, uh, now I've stopped it. Really? Yeah. Uh, no more good restaurants? No, 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 no. I go to restaurants and all, but my eating habits have become a little bit less because I have to because the kind of roles which I'm doing, like how you said in Surya Vanshi, I'm playing an IPS officer. So I have to maintain myself with how to uh, do that because they need a very athletic IPS officer, very, very, and I myself want to do that. So, what so is even your, that has also gone away now. So what is your extravagance actually? When you have 52 million pound a year, you're working very hard for that money. Where do you put it? What do you do with it? What do you mean by where do you put it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your account details, don't worry. I don't want your account details. I want to know, there must be a passion or some sort of indulgence that one must have. I just want to make risky films. I just want to make uh, films which... Uh, like, I still remember when I made a film on Toilet, A Love Story. A lot of people told me that I've gone mad. To have a movie like Toilet, A Prem Katha, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense as a film also, doesn't make sense as a businessman also. And that also I'm producing it, doesn't make sense. It's when I told people that I'm go now going to make a movie on pads, sanitary pads, they even said, even Hollywood has never made a film on a sanitary pad. How can you? I mean, it's a biggest taboo in our, in, your, in our country. Nobody even touches it. So, but I said, no, I want to make it. I just... So the point is not about, I want to make oh, whatever, whatever money I make in my life, I want to put it in some risky, risky subjects and bring it out and say, tell the people that what I think and what is the reality of it. During our last interview, you told me that you wanted to explore stories about the dowry system and about the plight that farmers face in India. Are those stories in development right now? Uh, what else are you planning on doing? Yes, I'm making, I'm making a movie on water now. On water. On water. Okay. And and uh, um, and, uh, all, and now I'm just uh, yesterday only I was just thinking about making a film because I met somebody here about domestic violence, which happens a lot here. In, in Am I right? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's an issue in the Asian community. Yes, yeah. So that's what the movie I want to make on. And Akshay, of course, you have Surya Vanshi, Good News, Lakshmi Bomb. All the best with everything, well, thank you. Always thank a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Asian Network.